Hey guys, it's Coffee A. Eh? Uh, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about numbers. Now I know for a lot of you that's sort of like a groan. It's like, oh god, not more more numbers. And um, I don't know. I even myself sometimes get lost when there's too many numbers. It's hard to get a sense of you know what's actually going on. In the end, poker is a game. We're supposed to be playing and trying to outplay our opponent. And sometimes some people get lost in the numbers and ends up being a detriment to their game. That being said, I do think that numbers are very important to making your poker game better. And specifically, learning how to compute things, how to use numbers to your benefit, or help you order your decisions, and to compute the expectations of different actions and lines you take. That's a very beneficial thing. And, and I really think that, in the end, we're trying to play as good as we can. And every edge we can get is worth taking. And so if you can use some math to help you refine your own strategies, to help you find extra equity by being able to evaluate, you know, that's going to really help your game. It's going to help you take it to the next level. And so that's why in my Math and Heads Up Sit and Goes video pack, I have a whole five videos on computation, all different computations that you might want to use. And the idea is that if you know how to compute these things, you'll be able to analyze your games and make improvements. That's the most important thing, is to get you to improve as a poker player. When you have the skills to be able to analyze situations as best as possible, you'll be able to make more money in the, in the long run because you'll be able to improve your game. I use a lot of software throughout the, throughout the video pack. And some people sometimes question a little bit, why use software? Why not just use experience? Can't we rely a lot more on our experience as poker players, especially for the people who have been playing for a long time? You know, how valid is your experience? And I think that experience is very important. That being said, I think there are some situations in Heads Up, Sit and Goes where software can give you a real crucial leg up. Because if you use software, you can compute a whole situation much better than experience will ever tell you about that situation. Just as a quick example, if you're looking to 3-bet all in over your, over your opponent's min-raise, maybe you are in the late stages of a, of a turbo or even regular speed, and you're just looking to 3-bet jam, well, you can rely on experience and you know, have 3-bet jammed hundreds of thousands of times in the past and have a good sense of how much people call and how profitable it is. But that's going to be really hard. And who knows how those 100,000 3-bet jams went. In the meantime, you're in the dark. You have no idea how good your 3-bet jam is. And, and that's what software gives you a chance to because it allows you to simulate the situation. It allows you to look at a million times. You can look at one 3-bet jam spot and examine you know, what would happen a million times. That's, for instance, how Pro Poker Tools works. It just does a simulation, and it does, you can pick how many simulations, and suddenly you can get the results of a million hands that were exactly like this one, all like that. And suddenly you can analyze that situation very well. And when you're against your opponent, you know what hands you can 3-bet jam, given your assumptions. You know, in the end, we do need assumptions. We need to be able to put villains on ranges. We need to be poker players. There's only so much math can give you. Your own feel and your own sense of the game is going to be incredibly important. But the ability to use that feel to its utmost, to optimize your assessment of the game and make the most money based on that, well, that's the, that's the goal as a poker player. That's how we make a lot of money, maximizing our expectation. It's making the most money from our adaptations, from how we've, we're exploiting our villain. And so that's why I really think computation is important. That's why it's a big focus in the pack. I try to make it as simple but comprehensive as possible. I go from the very early falling all-ins just due to pot odds all the way up to multi-street semi-bluffs. There's a lot of different ways to compute things, a lot of different programs, there's a lot of different tools so that you can use them in your own study. This has been a coffee break from Coffee uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. With any questions, please send me an email at coffee at gmail.com. And you know, I really encourage you guys to visit the HUSNG.com website. Check out the, the free videos that are already up. There's an introduction. There's a teaser from my last video regarding uh, solving push fold situations. There's another one of these coffee breaks. So go online and again, contact me, coffee at gmail.com. Disclaimer, I, Coffee A, do not endorse the drinking of coffee. I believe it to be addictive and unhealthy. And while I agree that once in a while a fine cup of coffee can be a beautiful thing, I still feel that uh, the addictive qualities mean you should be cautious even when consuming coffee in moderation. If you or someone you care about is suffering from any lifestyle-induced health problems or are just interested in a healthier way of living, please feel free to contact my wife.